All right, well, he's walking in right now, so I'll, I'll call you later after I tell him, okay? All right, bye. Love you too, bye. What is that on your head? It's an old football helmet. I found it out in the field. Take it off. What's wrong? It's not, Sam. You got a farm that you don't even grow hay on. And you collect junk. Look, there was a time when all of this seemed charming. It was creative and your art and it was fun, but it's not fun anymore. Because, I mean, we can't even pay the bills. Is that your mom on the phone? This isn't about her. This is about us. This is about me. I cannot live like this anymore. And I will not live like this anymore. Don't look at me like that. Have you noticed that we don't even spend time together anymore? Sorry. I... Look, you're a good man. You're just going nowhere. Do you still love me? Love isn't enough. That's why I have another. You ain't, you ain't got nowhere else to go. That's one way to look at it. Yeah. It was just about the same thing I did the night they buried Francis. Somehow those, those stars give me a sense of comfort. I just don't know what to think. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Neither of us knew what we were doing when we got married. Or worse, what it actually means to be married. I just don't know what's next. Well, I felt the same way when they... Well, Francis passed. What'd you do? So right here, stargazing. And that's when I decided to get out of here. You were gonna move? No, I, I was just gonna... on sort of a, a trip. I don't know where I'd go. I knew just where I wanted to be. I was gonna fly up yonder. See, when I was in the Navy, I used to work on airplanes. And I could make a plane fly faster than anything. And I knew that if I ever had the chance again, I'd take it. See? So I had an old crop duster. I figured if I had enough oxygen, and I have enough gas and uh, tuned up that engine just right. I'd be able to fly up in the sky and keep going. I think you may have had a little too much to drink. That's what they thought too. After I've been up in the sky about 15, 20 minutes, well, my engine popped a loose and I come crashing down. And they found me the next morning in a pile of, a pile of scrap. And they took me on off to the hospital. And, but I knew I was up there. And I seen those stars just as clear as could reach out and touch them. Touch them. Okay. Okay? Yeah, okay. We're well, leaving? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the moon. You gonna go? Alright, well, I'll sit right here waiting on you. I'll be wait Yeah! I'll be waiting on you. We'll go right next to Orion O'Brien's belt. We're gonna have old Sammy suspenders. Yeah, I'll be able to keep them skies up there for a little while longer with all that help.
Sam. Bill? There he is. Oh. What do you got back here? Don't worry about it. What brings you out here? Uh, I was just passing by. And Maggie called me. She's worried about you. She said she's been calling you for over a week and you hadn't picked up the phone. I'm fine. I just, I've been out here in the barn the past couple days. Are you sleeping out here too? No law against that? No. Now listen, I know what it's like to split up. It's not the easiest thing to go through. But you want to make sure I didn't die of a broken heart, huh? No, it's not like that. I came out here because I want to make sure you're okay. I'm fine. All right. Well, if you need anything, just call me, okay? I don't need anything. Okay. Yeah, Helen, what's up? Yeah, go ahead. Hello? What's up, Maggie? Hey, um, I was wondering, have you talked to Sam? Was he at home? Yeah, I saw him. Well, what was he doing? Was, was he drunk? No, he wasn't drunk. He's just working on some project. I don't think he's taking it too well, Maggie. He's drawing plans of some missile or rocket or something like that. Like, like a model of a rocket? It looked pretty real to me, Maggie. He cannot build a real rocket. He will blow himself up. I don't know, Maggie. I think it's just his way of working through things. Bill, you better keep an eye on him. All right, Maggie, I'm on it. Yeah? Cool. How'd you know? The deputy was talking about it on the CB. I heard it on the scanner. Everyone knows. Everyone? Hey, when are you taking off? Large coffee to go, please. Sure thing, Sam. How you doing, Sam? Getting that coffee to go there, Sam? It's a long way to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to the moon. There you go, Sam. Have fun with that. <laughs> See you later, space man. <laughs> <laughs> You had Bill babysitting me? I'm sorry. For what? I'm sorry it had to end the way it did. Okay. Are you really building a rocket? Look, you know what I said? That you are a good man. Then why'd you leave? Because I need more than just a good man. I need a farm that actually makes money and not your junk sculptures. I get it. You need to change, Sam. You know, if you would have just changed who you are, you might not have lost me. Look, I'm not saying you're wrong in what you did. You deserve better. But one thing. Did you marry me expecting me to change, or did you marry me because you love me? Don't worry about it. Sam. Sam, wait. Sam. Come with me and you'll be. Hello? 
Maggie. Sam? Hey, listen, I'm so sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have said that. I'm so- No, no, I'm sorry. Look, I had no drive before, no ambition. You helped me to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And I think you'll be better off for it. Find yourself somebody that's going to really take care of you. What are you talking about? I just called to say goodbye. Goodbye? Sam! Gotta go now. Sam! Sam! What's up, Maggie? He's gonna do it. He's gonna blow himself up. I'm headed there right now. Just stay. 